I'm Adam Mattis with Sterling Machinery Exchange. We've been buying, selling, and trading new and used equipment such as press brakes, shears, grinders, lathes, saws, milling machines, welding equipment, lasers, and much more since 1954. Today we're going to go over a really nice brand that we love. This is a brand new saw. It's made by the company Hydemech. This is the S20P. Now, it'd be really easy to go over that saw by first going over this saw. Here's the Hydemech S20. Obviously they look very, very similar. If you take a look at both, they're gonna have pretty much the same frame, same 13 by 18. The only difference is, this one's gonna be a little bit more of a workout for you guys. So this one is the manual saw to lift the head. It's not a huge problem. There's a lot of assistance on the other side, but you do have to manually lift the head. Also, if you come right around here, you'll see the vise. This vise is a really quick vise. It's a push-pull vise. Push it right onto it, tighten it down right here. Your controller is going to be just simply turning it on and basically telling it to fall. After it's cut, you're going to pull your vise open, pull your piece back out, and then lift your head and start over again. Now, the great part about this other, the S20P, is it's still a swivel head. The only real manual thing right here, unlock that handle, and you can see a nice easy swivel head. Get right to where you need to be. Your marks are right over here. Lock it down on whatever degree you're cutting, and you can start. Now there's a few things you can do with this guy. You can go into manual mode, or you can go into the semi-automatic mode. What that's gonna do is raise and lower this head by assistance of this really nice vise right here. This particular unit is for a customer, so you'll see there's a few nice options on it. First thing you'll notice down there is a nice misting unit. That's gonna mist over your parts, make it really nice and clean and easy to cut, keep the coolant off the floor, keep everything clean. Also on the back here, you'll see we go right around. This vise, which they call either a nesting or bundling, is gonna go up and down and that's going to clamp if you have a lot of different pieces in one, if you have a lot of squares or rounds, you actually want to put a bundle in there of material to cut the whole thing at one time. You have 20 square pieces. That's going to go ahead and push down force as well as your side force and give you a nice clean cut. Show you a little bit how this guy works. Right now I have it in semi-automatic mode. I've already set my upper and down limits. So wherever you, you go on the head, head down. You'll choose your limit, and that's where it's going to stop. Head up. Choose your head up limit, and that's where that'll stop. Once you set those two things, you're pretty much ready to go. You get your piece in there, obviously. Hit blade start. You have a variable speed pedometer right here to increase or decrease speeds. Notice the direct drive system going directly to the wheel. It's going to make a nice, strong cut. You hit cycle start. Right now, also one other thing, PC is your parts count. Right now you can see we're at five. You hit count reset and then you'll be able to keep track of all your parts. This has a really nice laser you'll notice right here. It's gonna keep it right in line, make sure you're right on where you need to be. And then simply hit cycle start right here. That's gonna close the vices. You'll notice not only this vise, but the vertical and the horizontal vise closed at the same time. That's going to push down on your material. You'll notice right here on the sides a variable vice pressure right there. The head will come down to that lower limit that we set. You have a feed rate speed right here. You lower this down, it's obviously going to come down a lot slower. So depending on the material you're cutting, the type of coolant you're using, the blade speeds. So you can see everything got set, your piece is cut, vices are back open. Take your piece back out, push it to the next stop, and you're ready to start again. Blade on, cycle start. Notice the vise is closing, and the head's coming down again. Really simple and easy to use, really simple to set up, and a great swivel cutting saw. Show you one other option here. So this is gonna be your semi-automatic option. When you move up to something else, you'd have an automatic feed. A lot of people call us and ask us, what's the difference? Now we've seen the manual, now we've seen the semi-automatic. This would be a programmable type hide mech. This actually, if you look here, 
This entire feed system moves back and forth and it's going to shuttle your material forward. We have a lot of different types of saws like that. Some are going to be semi-automatic, some are going to be fully automatic. If you want to set it to four inches, move your piece in automatically every time and just pretty much catch your parts at the end. That's going to be a different saw, but we can help you set up with that and find the right one as well. Another really nice marvel. This is a semi-automatic, so just the head up and down all the way to a really big do-all over here, 25 by 25. Here's another hide mech. This is actually a vertical tilt saw. So you can see there's a lot of different types of saws. It really depends on the application of what you're cutting but we do have a lot of different ones here for you. Take a look at a few other saws over here. Just want to show you one more fully automatic saw. This is a brand new Bailey. You'll see on the back here, it also has those bundling nesting vices coming straight down, as well as the clamping on the side. But this also has the automatic feed. So this feed is going to go back and forth. It has a certain amount of travel. Let's say it's 30 inches. It'll move back 30 inches. You can have it move a quarter of an inch or five inches. Each time it's going to go ahead and shuttle your part forward automatically for you. Kind of a nice thing if you're doing a lot of production. Pretty much set your parts. You could have one operator working on multiple machines. So if you're looking for a machine like this, either the S20P, the S20, or something bigger or smaller, automatic, semi-automatic, manual, give us a call. Let us know what type of sawing you're looking to do and we can get the right saw for you, new or used. We'd love to buy, sell, or trade with you. Call us at 626-444-0311 or check out our website for some great financing options and our huge inventory at sterlingmachinery.com. Thank you. Sterling Machinery sells all types of metalworking, fabricating, and chip making machinery such as lathes, metal shears, press brakes, punch presses, punches, grinders, milling machines, saws, plate rolls, iron workers, inspection equipment, welders, and much more.
Sterling Machinery is one of the largest stocking dealers of new and used machine tools in the United States. You can view over 2,000 machine tools available for inspection on our floor or visit www.sterlingmachinery.com to view all machine specifications, photos, videos, prices, and buyer's guides for all types of equipment. If you can't find the machine you're looking for, please give us a call at 626-444-0311 and our educated staff can find the right machine for you.